Anticipate seeing Fogelman head to the garage. Not sure how much damage Jordan Anderson had. We saw him spinning through the grass, but didn't see any significant left side damage. You know, we were talking about how smart Corey Heim was, having Ryan Priest behind him, Ryan staying in line. All that's out the window. We're going to have another choose, and we'll have, we'll have uh, some, some spots swapped up here. And I, I'm guessing it's not going to be the last time that we ever restart. <laughs> Probably not. Tanner Gray grazed the wall at one point, and, and as he lost speed, does it get everyone else to bunch up? Take a look. There's it's Gray on that black left key. Just, yeah. green, just a little bit of a scrub there. And there you see the 30 truck on the bottom as Gray continues to scrape along the wall, and he comes down the track, and I'm sure the 30 gets... There's Jordan Addison, the 3, and the 30 of Tate Fulgerman. Oh, Jordan just wasn't quite clear. There you have it. Oh, that's actually the next corner, or, yeah. or maybe even the next lap, right? right. The next corner, I yeah. think. Gray lost his momentum, was slowing yeah. down. Jordan thought he had him cleared and didn't. Almost did. Yeah. Hey, the three is in the the 30 in the process. Let's see it one more time. There's. You know, as in that part of the racetrack for Tanner Gray, he had no idea Jordan Anderson was going to come up. He just, he, you know, he thought he would hold his line when he did. It was too late to do anything about it. Well, that rear end really slapped the wall for Tate Pokemon. It was a harder hit than it looked initially.